Hi there everybody, thanks for joining me. My name is Jamie Thompson. I'm going to take you through a little demo today that demonstrates um, event propagation when you're using integration services. Now I'm going to be demoing this in integration services 2008 but the principles that I'm going to be talking about are pretty much the same, well they're exactly the same in integration services 2005 as well so there's going to be no problem there. I just want to take you through the package that I've got. I have a task in my control flow and as it says there it, it's a solitary task that doesn't do anything except raise events. If I was to take you into the code, which I won't, um, you'll see that it doesn't actually do anything except return success. But because it's executing it does actually raise events and that's quite important for what I want to demonstrate today. So if I move over to the event handlers tab You'll see in uh, my executable drop down here, I've selected that task from my control flow. So I, this is an on post execute um, event handler and it's scoped to the task that is in my control flow. Now, what this uh, script task in this event handler does is throw up a message box which will say which task in the control flow caused this event to fire. Okay, hope that's clear. I drop down the executables box and I go to the package itself. I've also got an on post execute in here as well. And this does pretty much the same thing. It raises a message box saying which task raised the event that this event handler is responding to. Okay? So it might be a good idea to just have a little think about what's going to happen here when I actually execute this thing. How many message boxes do you think are going to get raised? So just to review this again. I have one single task in my control flow. I have an event handler that is scoped to the task on the unpost execute event, and it, that the script task that is in there raises message boxes. I also have an event handler scoped to the package, and again, that script task raises a message box. So, just pause the video and just take a think. How many message boxes do you think there's going to be? Okay, run through, have you thought about that? So keep that in your mind and we'll actually run through this thing. So I'm executing. So my task in the control flow is firing and I've got my first message box. And as you can see in the title bar of this message box, um, it was raised by the task scoped event handler and the event that it was responding to was raised by the task in my control flow. So that's one message box. I'll click OK on this. Let's see what happens next. OK. We've got another message box. This time, um, the event has been caught by the event handler that is scoped to my package, as you can see in the title bar. But here's what's interesting. The event itself was raised by the script task that was in my event handler and that's what I want to emphasize here event handlers themselves and tasks within event handlers do raise events of their own and they can be caught or they can be handled pardon me by other event handlers that are further up the package hierarchy okay so we've had two message boxes so far I'll click OK again okay we've got another one so this is the package scoped event handler which is handling this event and the event was raised by task do nothing which is the task in the control flow so I'll click OK on that and we've got one more uh, again this has been caught this has been handled by the package scoped event handler and the event was raised by the package itself the package is called package dash event propagation so if I click OK everything's finished so we got four message boxes there in all so I'd be interested to know how many people guess correctly on that. Um, when I was going through this today myself, I actually thought there'd be three. And I forgot that the event handler that is scoped to the control flow task, which is this one here, also raises events of its own. And you just saw that. That, that actually raised an event, and that got caught by the event handler at the packet that is scoped to the package. Okay. So I hope that was useful. Let's just play around this a little bit more. If I go back into my event handler that is scoped to the control flow task, 
and we're going to bring out pop out the variables window and in here you'll find that there is a variable called propagate and what this will do if um, if it's set to true which is the default it means that any events that are raised by the task that this event handler is scoped to will propagate up the package hierarchy and get caught by any event handlers that are scoped to tasks or containers further up the hierarchy. If it's set to false, that won't happen. So what that basically means is that uh, events raised by tasks will not get propagated to uh, event handlers that are scoped to ancestral or parent containers. Okay. So if I set this one to, tr to false, that's quite a wordy description, so hopefully it'll mean a little bit more on how to demonstrate this. So I've set propagate to false. If I run it. Okay, so that's a task scoped event handler, which is catching the event that was raised by the task in our control flow. So that's as expected. So that's one message box. I click OK again. Okay, so the the script task in my event handler scoped to my task that is in the control flow is still raising event, raising an event, and I want you to notice that setting system propagate equals false on that event handler didn't stop this event from propagating up the package hierarchy and being caught by the package scoped event handler. So system propagate only affects events that are raised in the control flow. There is no way to stop events that are raised by event handlers from prop propagating up the container hierarchy. So I click OK on this. The last thing we get is the package scoped event handler telling you that the package is finished executing. So we there we go. We got three in all and packages finished executing. Okay, that was basically it. It's um, seemingly a very simple demo, but there's some strange quirks to how events can um, get propagated up the package hierarchy and I wanted to kind of demonstrate that to you so I hope it's been useful uh, I'm going to post this video on my blog so uh, if you've got any questions just head there and ask me or as always head to the uh, sys forum on uh, MSDN there'll be plenty of people there that can ask you questions okay thanks for watching